Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here and in today's video I will be talking about the news that the Washington Commanders are signing defensive end Effie Obata. We'll go over some of the information on him, his stats, and how he fits in Washington. And I'll also go over the news that the Washington Commanders are progressing on a deal to bring back tackle Cornelius Lucas. So if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe for Washington and NFL content. I'm on the road to 7,000. 500 subscribers so please help me get there also hit that like button and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video and also go ahead and follow my twitter trying to get to a thousand followers on there now let's get right into the video so the washington commanders finally made a move and they finally signed another outside free agent because the only outside free agent they signed besides Effie Obata was Andrew Norwell and it isn't a big signing but at least it's someone else because it was getting very very frustrating that they weren't signing anyone but they're starting to sign guys and Effie Obata let's go over some of the information so he's a defensive end but can switch into the inside as well you love to see that having someone who is versatile he's a four-year player with stops in Carolina, of course, and Buffalo. So, I mean, that's the pipeline. All these players play for each other's teams. I mean, Buffalo has a lot of guys from Carolina. Washington obviously has a lot of guys from Carolina as well. And even, you know, now Carolina has some guys from Washington after they sign defensive lineman Matt Ioannidis. So let's go over Effie Obata. Let's go over his stats and everything. So came into the league 2018 with the Panthers for three years and then went to the Bills for the, you know, for 2021. And honestly, the numbers are not bad at all. He is a little bit older than you would think, you know, being a four-year player. I believe he's like 29. I'm not uh, completely sure, but in 2018, had two sacks, 2019 no sacks, and the last two years, solid numbers, five and a half sacks and three and a half sacks, and he's from, I believe, the International Pathway Program, so the same thing as David Bada, and I believe Samus Reyes as well, who, you know, he ended up getting signed before then, but still, I mean, so that's why he is where I believe he's from London as well. He has one career interception and then one career forced fumble as well. So honestly, I'm not sure how much they're going to be paying him, but like he's got the production there in the last two years. Nine sacks in the last two years as a depth guy is pretty good. And he had three and a half sacks in 10 games. So kind of on pace for like six sacks. So those are solid, solid numbers for sure. And, you know, he's not going to be starting for us, of course, with Chase Young and Montez Sweat on the edge, Deron Payne and Jonathan Allen in the middle. But he is a very good quality depth piece. Probably right now the best one we have, you know, if he does play like he has in the last couple of years. And again, he's still kind of raw because he came from the International Pathway Program. And really, I, you know, I haven't done enough research on him, but I, I'm assuming he didn't really play that much high school when he was, or that much football when he was younger, probably only started playing until late high school or, you know, in college when he got into that international pathway program. So he's still probably raw. And you look at his, you know, best two years have been the last two years of his career. And, you know, he only played in 10 games, but still got around three and a half sacks. So I think that'll add some much needed depth right here. So this is a tweet uh, from Pete Haley. It said, F.E. Obad is an ex-Panther and an ex-Bill has recorded nine total sacks over the past two seasons, so should slide in nicely behind Chase Young and Montez Sweat. He comes from the same international player pathway program, much like Samus Reyes and David Bada. And yeah, I think I agree with Steve right here. He said, Effie Obata is actually a far more impactful signing than it looked on the surface. This is a contributor, five and a half sacks in 2020. And yeah, we're going to need that. I mean, if Chase Young and Montez Sweat goes down, we need someone besides like James Smith Williams, Shaka Tony, William Bradley King. Like, if one of those three guys can hit and be a solid backup, that'll be great. You put him with Effie Obata, and that is a solid, you know, that's some solid depth right there. If one of your guys goes down, he has experience, and that's what we need. And here's something right here from Nikki Jabalic. She said, Ron Rivera talked about Effie Obata a couple of times over the years, especially in relation to David Bada and Samus Reyes. When he signed with the Panthers in 2017, Obata became the first player from an international pathway program to make a 53-man roster. So, you know, he's been in the league for a decent amount of time, but again, still raw. And he had, of course, it is a Panther. And I know a lot of people are upset about that, that we keep signing 
Carolina, former Carolina Panthers. We're the Washington Commanders right now. A lot of people like to say, I know JP Finley at Oliver both saying that on Twitter. And you know, it is what it is. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I mean, if you want to add depth guys at the end of the roster, special teamers, you might as well have those guys that are familiar with your system and, you know, guys that are going to do what you want to do on the field and off the field and you know they know these guys really well so you know what it's a depth piece I really don't care what team he played for if he's good he's good if he's not he's not and I mean would I like to have some more you know diversity in terms of our assistant coaches in terms of like what team they came from sure but in the terms of the players if they can play they can play and uh, I'm fine with this signing as long as he can ball out and, you know, some of the signings from the Carolina Panthers haven't really worked out well, you know, yet. Well, you know, Curtis Samuel, we don't know yet. But I remember everyone wanted us to sign Curtis Samuel, and then he got hurt. So we'll see with that. And I wanted Curtis Samuel as well. But I really don't care if he's from the Carolina Pan you know, if these players are from the Carolina Panthers or the Bills or not. If they can play, they can play. And I think Efe Obata isn't going to be a huge impact player, but he's going to be a solid contributor coming off the bench if Chase Young or Montez Sweat get hurt or if those two need a breather I think this is a solid move and you know solidifies our depth a little bit more because again I've seen I you know saw a couple of clips from him and you know a couple of them were from the inside so if he needs to switch he can I know James Smith Williams can play on the edge and in the inside as well so you like to have that versatility and then Shaq and Tony is more of an outside guy for sure. So now the other news of the day, this was reported earlier by John Kime. He tweeted and said, Washington and swing offensive tackle Cornelius Lucas are progressing towards a deal. There's optimism could be done today. If when it becomes finalized, a key piece to Washington's offensive line depth would return. He's been solid a back he's been a solid backup for the commanders. And I agree, this is a good signing. I mean, he's been really good at times and struggled at times, but overall he is a very he's an elite backup to have, honestly. Like he could start on some teams and at times he was pretty good for us as a starter. There were times where he did struggle last year. I feel like 2020, he was really, really good overall. This past season still was good, but a little bit worse in 2020. But I still think this is a good move because you know Charles Leno doesn't have any injury issues at all. I mean hopefully I'm not jinxing it, knock on wood. But you know, um, he really hasn't had any issues. But if you look at Sam Cosme, he has some injury issues in his you know, rookie year. Hopefully it doesn't continue. But if it does, you have Cornelius Lucas who can come in and start a few games for him. And even if not, you know, even if the, these guys are healthy, he's a good swing tackle to have. A big guy, he's 6'8", so you have another often, you know, big body there if you're, you know, running and you need that extra guy on the outside or whatever. I think it's a solid signing. Not sure how much money it will be, um, but I think it'll be a solid signing for Washington. They're bringing, pretty much bringing back almost all of their free agents except for, like, Brandon Sheriff and a couple others as well. I mean, we're still waiting for guys like, you know, DeAndre Carter, Toy McTire, guys like that. But for the most part, we brought back most of our guys, which I do like, and we signed Andrew Norwell for a really good deal. I think it's like a two or three million dollar cap hit. And then we also signed Effie Obata, and I hope we do sign some other guys. Middle linebacker needs to be the next signing that we make for sure. So that is going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think about the FA Obata signing. He's not going to be a game changer, but he certainly can be a good depth piece for us. And that's what we needed. That was one of our biggest positions of need. Still is a position need, I think, because you have, you know, Obata, who's more of a defensive end. So you're going to need a defensive tackle. And I, I'm thinking it's going to be Star Lutelelli, who played for the Bills and, of course, played for the Panthers as well. I mean, we're signing a lot of former Bills and Panthers. Panthers players. I mean, we have a lot of those guys on the roster anyways. But yeah, that is it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think about the signings. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that like button and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. Peace, guys.